everybody. Glad you've made the decision to be with us. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We're glad to be bringing you action and welcoming you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for tonight's main event. A lot of talk heading into tonight's matchup. Everybody expecting this to be a great night of action. Oscar De La Hoya is making that final walk that separates man and warrior, soon to be in battle there in the ring. Chico's supremely confident here. Look at him make his way down to the ring. You can just see it in every step that he takes. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch them up and let's go. And we are underway for this scheduled 12-rounder. Teddy, I don't think there's any doubt about it in the matchup that we're seeing here tonight. It's clear who has the superior hand speed. What does the other guy need to do? He needs to let the faster guy shadow box. Step out of range where he can't use his speed. Not much action as he just ties up. Locks it away. Watch the hook. Watch the hook. Come on. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Able to cover up that gut. Chico's armor penetrated that time with a hook to the body. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. We're seeing a lot of work to the body here early on by him. Teddy, is that a certain mentality, these guys that commit to being a body puncher? Yeah, because they understand that the body punching, you know, that's not something that's glorious. That's not something that, you know, like a great left hook on the chin, bang, it gets results right away. They understand that that's something that pays off later. and something you got to start early and stay with. Look at all. Ten clicks of the talk. This round comes to an end. 
a round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, okay, you're going to catch okay, him. Relax, Let's shorten relax. him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving. Here we go. Round two is underway. We took a go of it to the body but came up empty. <gasps> Scored well up top. Teddy, I don't think he's got visions of sticking around too long. He's landed power punches early. Yeah, he wants to make it a quick night's work. Right hand crashes home. He never... Wow! Early on here in the round, and he's already down. And he doesn't look good at all. So he is able to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. A solid uppercut by Oscar De La Hoya. Back to the body. Chico's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Come on, come on. Teddy, Oscar has accomplished so much in his career, but yet there are certain labels Keep that moving. are attached to him. One of them Keep is moving. what he did in the closing rounds back in September of 1999 against Felix Trinidad. Yeah, in that fight, of course, he was ahead in that fight in the last three rounds. I think it was about the last three rounds. And he figured he had it in the bank, and he started running. He started moving, and he started just trying to get the clock to tick out. And what really hurt him was the way he behaved because... By behaving that way, by running that way, unlike a fighter, or unlike the fighter that people thought he should behave like, he lost the right to really make a big argument about how he was robbed. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. See, the defense pays off as he gets rid of that downstairs. An accurate left by Chico. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. So he scores a knockdown in the last round. Now he gets to settle down and gather himself a bit. Do you go after it? Do you get super aggressive here having had your man hurt? Or do you still have to employ a certain amount of caution? It's kind of like being at the carnival. You know, you just you just hit the bullseye and you got that big, big stuffed animal you can give to your wife or your girlfriend. But now he doesn't want you to go away with that. Oh, no. No, no. He tells you, wait a minute, try again. You could trade that in for something either bigger. But you might lose the one you have already. That's the question. Chico's recuperative powers are proving to be very strong right here. This is the start to the round he wanted to have coming off a round where he was clearly damaged. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Come 
on, now move, move. Solid. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. He missed with that head shot. Punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. De La Hoya shook up there, Teddy. What a turn of events. Just moments ago, he was the one doing the damage. No other sport shows retribution right in front of you so quickly, so impactfully. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Now looking to hang on. Yep, yep. Needs to improve that accuracy. Miss with the headshot. And he's holding Dave La Hoya's right hand working well that time. He scored well. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Dave La Hoya's landed a good solid combination. And that's the end of round three. I need you to move this round, all right? We move! Muevate! He's going to come in swinging. Right. Oh, he thinks you still hurt, and he's going to look to finish you off. You don't need that, no. Throw that away. Stay away from the power hand, okay? Keep circling away from that power hand. I need you to keep moving side to side, all right? Keep moving. Now, don't let him get that power shot off, all right? Now, listen, you need to keep moving out there. As soon as you start moving... Dave LaHoya is enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. He's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. We've heard you say that Oscar De La Hoya's strength is his left hand, and he's naturally left-handed. Let's specifically talk about his jab and his hook. What do you think of him? Oh, good. I mean, I wouldn't say great, great, but good enough to win the titles that he's been able to win and good enough for the most part to have the upper hand, the upper left hand, without, you know, making too much of a pun out of it. But I think the most important thing is, for the most part, he uses his height. He has great size. You know, he started out as a junior lightweight. This is a guy who was tall, rangy, and with a good left hand, he was a guy who could control most fighters most of the time. Halfway through this round, Chico's off mark all night long, and Teddy, he's getting tired just missing punches. Well, this is a good example. You know, we know what happens when they land. 
But this is a good example of what happens when they don't land. Sometimes you get a little discouraged. Come on, punch! 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 punch. Dave La Hoya has given me the impression that he's not 100%. Now, we saw that he was stunned earlier, but the nonstop clinching, it really tells you where he stands. Yeah, it does because that's not his way. That has not been his makeup, his personality before. So you know something's not right right now, and his opponent is starting to understand that. De La Hoya with a huge uppercut. Keep doing what you're doing. Seconds to go in the fourth. Three minutes gone by in this round. Chico's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Stay tight. Keep jabbing and hitting. Keep him in front of you, okay? Don't let him move around too much. Cut the ring off. Set, get off. But set the power shot up. Back to action here at the start of this round, which is just part of what has been a very evenly fought fight. One of those fights that's going to be very hard to score. You're still not, man, that's it, man. Do you Good see job. any way Good in job. which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, <laughs> counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Not focusing. You're not focusing. Nice work. Nice work. He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. One, two, one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. was a miss by Chico. Unload right now. More punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Halfway into round number five Focus. here. Focus. by Chico. And I love the way he delivered that, Teddy. Yeah, he's using his feet to set up his offense. You don't always see that, but you see it there. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Damo Hoya's been able to hit that target with that straight punch consistently all night long. Yeah, and he's gotten a little bit of help because his opponent starts leading with those wide shots and he steps right inside him, right into the eye of the storm. Damo Hoya's okay, coming up okay. with the Let answers, go, avoiding that go. punch. Ten seconds of this fifth round. Oh. 
And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Do not fight going backwards, all right? Back him up. Cut the ring off. Back him up. Start of a new round, and you got to expect his opponent to jump all over him. He nearly got rid of him at the end of the last round. Yeah, if I'm in the other corner, I'm telling him to get after him. But you can use that in reverse. You know your opponent's coming after you. Maybe he gets a little reckless. You have an opportunity to nail him as he's coming after you. Uppercut. Uppercut is wide open. Uppercut, baby. Come on. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. De La Hoya is making this so that it's becoming a very frustrating night for his opponent. I mean, when your defense is that sharp, it can just drive your opponent crazy. Yeah, it can. First of all, it can start to break down. You know, we always look at the physical things in life and anything. You know, you, you're pounding a guy and you're going to break the guy down. Hey, if you're just smart and you're slick like this guy and you're making a guy miss, you start to break him down. He's breaking the guy down that way. By a mile, that wasn't even close by Chico. Halfway through round six. Just holds on there. Hook, hook, he wide open for the hook. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Chico's got to be asking himself, at least his corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches? and be this ineffective. So if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because, you know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas and it's not looking real pretty right now. Nice work, nice work. Right now, more punches, baby. Punches and bunches. Let's see. Let the fist go. Let him go. Whoa. Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. We come to the end of this round. And for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. You're in control of this fight. Well, don't get careless out there. Keep boxing oh, yeah. smart. Keep your hands yeah. All right? You have to keep your hands up. Six rounds in the book. Six to go. Wow, is he defensively sound. Not able to land the uppercut. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Oscar De La Hoya. Good counter 
punch. I loved how he moved off to the side and landed it. Yeah, that's real smart. That's something that you teach in the gym, and you love when you see it executed. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Chico's killing me watching him here. I mean, he doesn't need a 20 by 20 ring. They could fight this thing in like a phone booth here. Now, he looks like one of those cars you see on the side of the road where they removed all the tires, all the wheels. He's not going anywhere. Halfway through the seventh round. De La Hoya is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. <laughs> saw he was up on your scorecard throughout the evening the golden boy Oscar de la Hoya is now a winner by knockout listen you want to win you want to get to a title you want to be successful but you want to make money and this is one way to ensure you're going to make money scoring knockouts for Teddy Atlas I'm Joe Tessitore have yourself a great night